Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ultra. This is Fit the Mind TV. So today we are going to learn how we will be able to add your tax information and AdSense. So punta ka lang sa Google AdSense account mo and then on the home page you can see the manage tax information. So just click it and then may kita mo yung manage tax information. And to get payouts from Google, make sure that you provide your tax information. So all you have to do is click add tax information. So just make sure na nakalogin ka sa Google account mo. So yan yung may kita mo once you press the add tax information. So all you have to click is yung individual. And then click next. Then sa baba may kita nyo if you are a citizen or resident of the United States, you have to click no. Then next. And then sa baba, piliin nyo yung w dash 8 ben or this form is most commonly used by non-US individuals so click mo lang yung first option na may kita mo then click yung start w8 ben and then you will proceed to the next step so name of individual just write your name for your tax identity so dito sa DBA just leave it blank optional naman siya then for the country of citizenship all you have to do is choose Philippines or kung saang bansa ka. Then for the taxpayer identification number, dito sa foreign TIN or yung TIN number mo. Kung ano yung TIN number mo dito sa Pilipinas, yun yung ilagay mo. The reason why it's foreign TIN kasi nga you're not an American. So that's why it's foreign TIN ang ilalagay mo. Your TIN number dito sa Pilipinas. So once na ilagay mo na yung TIN number mo, all you have to do is press next. And then, fill up mo lang yung address mo, yung billing address mo, kung ano yung nakalagay doon sa billing information. And then, press this permanent residence address. It should be the same. So, ilagay mo lang yung mga important information about your billing address, kung saan ka nakatira, at yung anong town, anong province. And then, press mo yung postal address na kailangan same siya sa billing address mo. Then, next. Then, you will proceed to the next step, yung tax treaty. So, are you claiming a reduced rate? All you have to do is press yes. So, you are a resident of country claiming treaty with the US. Then sa baba niyan, press mo lang yan. Then yung country mo, Philippines. So kung aling bansa ka, ilagay mo lang doon. And after that, sa baba, special rates and conditions. You may be exempt or have taxes withheld at a reduced rate on a certain income types. So all you have to do is, i-press mo lang lahat yan. Yung services sa AdSense, motion pictures, TV for your YouTube, Google Play, and also yung other copyright. Lahat yan, i-press mo. Then, yung article and paragraph, i-press mo yan sa baba. Article 8 and paragraph 1. Then, yung withholding rate, 0. Ganon din dito sa baba. I-click mo yan. Reason. And also, yung motion pictures and TV. Then, ganon din. Yung article and paragraph, just press it. Withholding tax rate, 15%. Then, i-click mo yan. Other copyright, also click that one. Same thing with the article sa baba. Tsaka sa withholding tax, 15%. Then, i-click mo din yan. Then, you have to click the next button. So, yan na yung magiging itsura nung page na yan. You have all the information, document preview, and dyan na lahat. So, just click mo yung I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax documents. Then, click next. So, yan na yung itsura niya. Then, yung signature mo, all you have to do is write your name. That's for the certification. So, sa baba niyan, ilagay mo yung signature mo, yung full legal name na nasa YouTube mo. Kung ano yung name ng YouTube mo, just write it down. Then, after that, click yes. You are the person... You are the owner of the channel. Then after that, so activities and services. Has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section perform any activities 
and the US or within the US, all you have to click is no. So, pindutin mo lang yung no. And then, on the lower part, you certify that the services provided to Google will be for perm solely outside the US. So, press mo lang yung button na yan. Then, once you're done with that, sa status change of it, David, so all you have to do is click yung first part, I am providing tax information for a new or existing payments profile. Kung hindi ka pa nakareceive ng any payment, yun yung pindutin mo. So since hindi pa ako nakareceive ng any payment, yun yung pipiliin ko. But if you already get your payment from the previous month, then yung second option yung pindutin mo. Then submit. So ito na yung kalalabasan niya. So clear na ako in terms of providing the tax information sa Google AdSense ko. So, yan na siya. Wala na akong problem in terms of the tax information. So, ganun lang kadali mag-update ng tax information sa Google AdSense nyo. So, again, sana nakatulong yung video na to in terms of how we will be able to update our tax information and kung paano natin hindi mababawasan ng napakalaking percentage yung income sa YouTube mo. So I hope they learned something from this video. Again, if this is the first time that you visit my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Ultra. This is Fit the Mind TV.